Anyway. So let's go back to blues. For anyone who's jumping in and wanting to learn blues or wanting to learn anything, always go. Three steps. Get the, get, the, get the song rhythm down. Groove into the song. You want to get that groove. You want to lock in. Judd Harris, what's going on, bro? You want to vibe. I'm slightly out of tune to this song. I think that's slightly flat. Let's see if I can get it in tune. Just off, like they're like they're like a they're like like a couple of cents off, flat. So we've got it now. Anyway, so we go back to the groove. First thing is get the groove. Oh, one is still off. So we got those four chords, we're sitting in B minor. And then we got E minor. And then the turnaround, he goes to a G, G major seven, down to a F sharp seven, and then back to the B. So there's a there's gonna be a tricky chord, like when you're getting into the melodies here, it's gonna be tricky when you get this chord here. And then this one, they're going to be quite, quite challenging because this chord here, we're going to have to get this note out. Got to get that bad boy out. Ooh, it's so sexy. The third of the chord is very, very, very hot. But this one here, I'm pretty sure this one just sits, uh, is going to be sitting in the natural minor pentatonic, natural minor. So it fits right over on the natural minor. So you don't have to do anything crazy when you get on this chord. The only thing on this chord, if you want to bring it in, is get that note there. So if we're going to be mapping out our scale before anything that we do. So whenever you're going into improvisation, I don't want you guys practicing. I don't want you guys going like learning it. I want you to be like, okay, well, what is being used? So we're just in B minor pentatonic. Whatever you want to do with that. And then when we hit this uh, this uh, flat six major seven chord or the G major seven chord, what we want to do is we're still playing the B minor pentatonic, but the one extra note that you can add here is the G note. So if you're playing in a minor pentatonic, and then once he gets to that F sharp seven, we've got this extra note over here. So we're still in the pentatonic because that F, F sharp is still in the pentatonic right there. But we're just hitting that, whatever, what is that note there? That's the B flat. A sharp. And that's what's going to get you that fat, fat, fat connection to the song. So that's what the notes are doing. And then we've got our groove. Very, very cool. And then all we're going to do right off the beginning, you're hearing him playing the guitar part. I wouldn't aim for the guitar part first. I would aim for this first. Getting his vocal rhythm. His vocal rhythm is the second part of this process. 
Oh, we want to nail BB King's vocal rhythm. Nah, nah, nah. The thrill is gone away. He's so good. <laughs> it's just like. So you can hear he's got like this this uh this hook. So that's the first thing you want to do when with the guitar part is you want to like I like to do this. It's when you're trying to get into guitar solos, getting these vo getting these rhythms down is so popping. Very, very nice rhythm. And if you do that over the song, when you do go to do it like an improvisation over it, people will be like, man, this guy sounds like so connected. And you're that's because one, you're connecting to the groove, two, you're connecting to the vocal rhythm, which is huge. That's like where all the feel comes from from a song. You know you done me wrong, baby. But I done it wrong, baby. Let's hear that rhythm. You know you done me wrong, baby. You know you done me wrong, baby. You know you done me wrong, baby. You know you done me wrong. You know you done me. So he does a. He's got a break here. You done me wrong. You know you done me wrong, baby. You know you done me wrong, baby. You know you. And you'll be sorry someday. Be sorry. And if you guys are wondering why his guitar playing is so good, it's because he sings that good. <laughs> Fuck, he's so good. The thrill is gone. It's gone away from me. The thrill is gone, baby. The thrill is gone away from me. He's so good. It's very, everything he's playing in here is very, very clean. So really, like, he's just coming back on these motifs. Okay, that is a cool rhythm. And you don't have to get these things note for note, by the way. Like, you don't need to be perfect. You just need to be inspired. You can see how the more I iterate on it, the more I'm coming up with more fun stuff. Oh, yeah. So if I jump in just straight off on the song, um, uh, I'd have to record it. Oh, well. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Cool. I'm liking this. So it's all guitar solos from there. All right. So now we've got we've got what we want out of the vocal. So out of the vocal is na 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 na. That's pretty much the vocal rhythm we want. Whatever we want. And now let's go to the guitar stuff. So the guitar stuff, same thing. Always rhythm first. You can see I just definitely played the completely wrong notes, but the rhythm was the killer part. The rhythm is what's getting us the vibe. Is this helping anyone at all, by the way? If you're in the chat, let me know. Because I'm learning a lot from this already. I like this opening lead. And the, the thing here as well to listen to is the notes really are like not the biggest deal of what he's doing, except for this one moment you're about to hear. Ready? Hey mom, how are we doing? So that's him. So he's pretty much just staying in the third zone on this chord. He doesn't bring out the root note of this. So that means he can stay in the in the in the pentatonic very cleanly. And then when he hits this one. He's hitting the root note. So he's not going wild with like, you know, a lot of guitarists are going to be, like I said earlier, I was like, oh, cool. If I play this chord, then that means this is available in natural minor. And then when this chord, oh, I've got this. He's not doing any of that stuff. He's staying so clean in his minor pentatonic, not going crazy. He's like, well, I know this note. That works over that chord. Very clean. Works there, same note. Back to the one. So that means that we can, if we can try and emulate a bit of this. Ooh. 
Now his one's a killer as well with these bends that he gets. The BB bend, the BB King bends. The thrill is gone. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Nice. Da, na, 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 na. So bad at these uh, index finger bends. What is that? Is that the note that he hears there? Like he's just hanging. He's just vibing. He's just chilling there and he's just ready. Bam. So good. Like to be able to have that much, spe much space. That's why these people are these good. Like that good. To have that much space. All right, cool. I'm keen. I'm going to make a little loop of this. I'm going to make a... The and what I'll do, how many of you guys have got a guitar in your hand? How many people in the chat have a guitar in their hand and want to actually jam to this? Because I can make this loop and then we can like coach you through the, the loop and you guys can do your own solo over the top of it. <gasps> that'd be pretty, that'd be pretty 200 IQ. And then you guys can like, you can post videos of you guys. Revising over it. That's so annoying. All right. Let's see if there's...
group. Don't troll me hard. B minor. Take it away. Now this is a trick for the G. over this.
it. Now we're stepping away, way away from BB King. Yeah, what's going on? But the trick here is being able to hit this note here. And then that note there over there. But what I'm doing here that might be, you think is like I'm doing fancy stuff. I'm hitting arpeggios. Oh no. <laughs> intervals so i'm like i'll have my anchor note and then i've got my my four notes in between here so here i've got my anchor note here so over that like literally over that right so this chord here is that g major seven so i'm anchoring on the major seven right there which is part of the pentatonic So over that. And then here. And then I come back to the note. Very sneaky, right? Very sneaky on this one. So we're seeing it. But when, like we said, connect to the vocal rhythms of the song. I'm kind of getting carried away because I'm having fun. A 
Fantasia, Fantasia, how we doing? That's enough blues practice. That was fun. I got a lot out of it. I don't know if you guys got a lot out of it, but I did. What guitar was that? <laughs> 